Luna Classic is about to make a massive move, and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. For those of you that are in the Telegram channel, I hope you guys are enjoying it as we are growing exponentially. But for those of you that haven't joined yet, make sure to check out the link in the bio as I'm giving all my insights and my trades in the channel. For hey guys, Pinky Trust here. Welcome back to another Luna Classic Analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see, yesterday we were testing a very crucial resistance point here at the 17 mark. You can see that, of course, this area acted as a strong resistance point as you guys already know old support becomes new resistance and as of right now we are looking for a possible breakout on this formation you can see that bitcoin and ethereum have broken out from a massive move and we are expecting the altcoins to catch up so we could actually see a stronger breakout on this 18 resistance point now looking at previous price analysis you can see that this 18 level of course has acted as a very strong resistance we have failed to break above this level and actually hold support and the only times we actually she saw a breakout was an immediate bearish candles to the downside from a bullish case scenario of course if we can somehow get above this 18 level find it as support and then see a continuation we could be looking for a massive move possibly even all the way up to around our 29 range the reason why that level specifically is because of fact that's pretty much where the move set started and i have mentioned to you guys many times that this could be a very large inverse bar formation usually these formations play out after we have a very long consolidation consolidation zone and the last time we had a great consolidation zone was around here at the 86 level you can see that we hovered above this level for quite a few months and then saw a massive breakout formation on luna classic and this is exactly what i'm looking for as of right now from a bearish case scenario though of course if we tend to stay within this range and we do keep testing the 14 support level I'm going to be paying very close attention to seeing how this level reacts once we test this level as resistance if we do get the confirmation and an area of retest as resistance that's our area of opportunity to actually look for a shorting position possibly down to around our 86 level or if not the 51 looking at the four hour time frames though of course I mentioned the fact that two days ago that the reason why we aren't looking for a continuation on the short was because of the fact that we have multiple wicks within this range here at 15 holding a midterm support as well as the fact that we were in oversold regions this is a beautiful pullback opportunity that i have mentioned many times we do expect a fake out and for those of you that are in the telegram channel you guys are seeing it firsthand when i update you and let you know exactly where things are going on top of that in terms of the hourly right now you can see that our inverse bar formation which yesterday's moves that i did mention played out almost perfectly as well as the fact that we are trading above exponential moving averages and we are looking for a breakout pay very close attention ladies and gentlemen to this area right here at the 17 support because this area is going to let you know whether or not we see that breakout opportunity on luna classic if we continue using this level as resistance and a stronger bearish move set happens that will give you guys a confirmation on the hourly that this of course was a fake out range just to grab that liquidity and then the continuation pushing on lower in terms of the daily time frames things are looking extremely choppy it's very hard to analyze something when you are in between these exponential moving averages and this is why i've mentioned to you guys that these are what we call no trade zones ideally what we're waiting for is to start using the emas as support as we are laddering up like we see on other cryptos right now but luna classic hasn't been able to see that from a shorting perspective of course we want to see this area used as a resistance and that's our confirmation to continue looking for shorting opportunities but right now since we aren't seeing that we have to be very very careful in terms of this consolidation zone but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a wonderful day